This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Oh, trouble down here. Hard in the wall goes the 77, Donnie Neuenberger. Caution is out. As much as we talk about how you can run all over this track in the high groove and the low groove and so forth, you can't run up there right now. The track's a little dirty because of the weather and uh, I think... Well, look here. There this he car goes. just came around, got loose with him. Drove it in there probably a little too hard and uh, the car just got loose. Boy, Joey Clanton, the 27 car, he had to get all the way on the apron to get below him. Caution is out. Kevin Grubb is okay after pounding the wall in turn two. We'll show you replays in a minute, but right now the pits will be open. Come into view. He's one of the last cars in that pack on the right side of your screen. He's the third car in that pack. There is no question what happened to that oh, car. Baby. Right front tire just went down on him. Hounded it. Whoa, a spin on pit road here, here, through it. Here it is. He tried to follow Matt Kenseth on the pit road. Matt Kenseth, a lot of experience. Martin True. It's very slick there. We talked about that in Noten. That could be the difference between winning and losing. It has the adjustment, Mike. Matt, they told Martin Truex to follow Matt Kenseth into the pits. Here's what happens. I mean, we talked about it in the beginning, and there you see so close to hitting that outside pit wall. The third turn right now. Now, Kerry Earnhardt spinning. Got a car spun off the back over there. Scrammy. Oh. Spun and done. Okay, David. Our caution is out. Yeah, Who this is a big, big right break for is our points leader, know, Todd Bogdan. He had not made his green flag stop. He's on the lead lap in second place. So a big, big break for I Todd. I don't believe the five car had either. The no, Bud, we're going to pit road. And the other How car. Guys might not pit, but boy, we just... The other car that was trying to stretch it was this man, David Stremme. But I'm going to tell you who else is a bit. Just, uh, just a lap ago. Oh, oh boy. Casey Kane. And into Jamie McMurray. And a lot of this is product of really fresh tires and really, really old tires. Oh, the, the closing rate's incredible. About two seconds. And there you see Tom. Oh, he gets hit by Vickers. Ken Kenseth may have missed a shift. Yeah, because he's going to lose two positions. Brian Vickers in the five is going to take the lead. But, boy, Kenseth comes back in a hurry. He's going to get the Turn one. Back. Kerry Earnhardt down on the apron along with Dave Blaney. Caution out. Can Casey Kane in the 38 get his lap back? I believe he will. Put another car back on the lead lap. He will get his lap back. Randy LaJoy has crashed. Kerry Earnhardt, Dave Blaney, Shane Meal. Who started that up front there? First, watch the leader on the left of your screen, Matt Kenson. I think I hear him. When we were listening, he spun the tires. Right there, there. Yeah, he spun the tires. And, of course, uh, Vickers had nowhere to go that time. Now there's where Shane Meal got turned. Yeah, a lot of cars back here going around. There comes the 31 car. Yeah, that was a 19 car, Casey yeah. Mears, that spun completely yeah. you around. Could hear, you could hear the 17 car when he took off, spin the tires and jump sideways. Steve Burns. And it was all going Matt Kenseth's way, and then he cut down a left front tire and spun out of the lead in turn two. But I'm going to tell you, he could be pretty lucky on this deal because the caution's out. He stayed on the racetrack. Now, if he can make it back around without that left front coming apart, yeah. then uh, he'll still be on the lead lap. He should have brought that car to pit road when the five car came to pit road. He had all that damage on the left rear there, and they had left side damage fast as he was. Round she goes. There you see it right there. And I'm going to tell you what, when you spin on the back stretch at this place, banked at nine degrees, you don't hit anything or nobody hits you, luck is on your side. Wow. Here's another look. Spot, how about it? Can you win this thing? Uh, I don't know. We'll Trouble we'll right right away. Right now. Oh, oh, Joey Clanton, the 27 car. Big crash right in. Boy, Clanton just about ripped the right front off that car. They're going to come to the line and the caution flag at lap 186. Mike Bliss in the 20, I believe he's going to get his lap back. He caught Joe Nemechek sleeping, getting into turn three, so he'll get back on the lead lap. 
He'll come get him four fresh tires and he'll be back in business. Clanton's car is off the track in the garage, so the track was not blocked. But you want to talk about gentlemen and a gentleman's agreement? Matt Kenseth followed all those guys back to the line because he was they had he had opportunity to pass, but he, he didn't take advantage of anybody. Let's go back to Dick Bergeron in David Green's pit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Uh, Joey Clanton is out of his car. He is okay after this wild ride. Yeah, the 27 car here gets a bump. Uh, somebody gets up under him and sends him around, and I, I can't tell you who it was. But that was a hard lick. That's like, uh, it's almost like boiler plate wall down there. But he could tell you. In the five car. I think he's got a little damage to the front end, too, so that could hurt him. But, boy, look at this. Three wide off the corner, and... It's a battle for fourth. Matt Kenseth right oh, now with fresh tire. boy, around goes Truex. A snap spin. Yeah, what happened was he just drove the thing in there so hard trying to stay up with Matt Kenseth again. The caution is out. This will be five to go right here, right now. We will not get a red flag, but they could get this race restarted because yep. Martin Truex is moving. Yep, nothing on the racetrack, apparently. And they're gonna, they are going to hold the field and they have time to get this one finished off. One. Here goes Kansas on the outside, and Trex wants to stay with him, knowing that's the thing to do. Trying to hold him to the outside, but he just drove it in there too hard, and there's a little dip down there, and that baby just came around. And Vickers, they have those fresh tires, and just don't know if they have enough time. Chevy Joe, Joe Nemechek was like he was shot out of a cannon when he drove down into turn one, but Scott Riggs, he's not giving up in that 10 car. Matt's just got a lot of grip. If he can make it stick on the outside, he can get Bobby Jr. right here. He's got him. Here comes Kenseth. Fourth place. Brian Vickers in the five. Talked about him. Fresh tires as well. Two to go. Riggs climbs the hill. That gives Nemechek a bit more advantage. Gary Earnhardt up next to the wall, but I think he's going to be okay. White flag this time by. Riggs giving it all he's got, but he's going to come up with another top three finish. Boy, he's trying. He try, he's trying every way he can. He has can't. poured that thing down in there the last couple laps, but it just won't quite stick for him. Vickers goes by the 25. That's fifth place. And here it is for the money off turn four. Joe Nemechek picks up his third Bush Series win of the year. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> <laughs> Scott Riggs is second. David Green, good run for him third. Matt Kenseth fourth. And Brian Vickers comes home fifth. 15th Bush Series win of Joe Nemechek's career. And from the pole. First time it's been done here since Morgan Shepard in 86. First time it's been done this year, winning from the pole in the Bush Series. Really is my birthday, Joe. Thanks for the birthday present. Harry. <laughs> Brand new race car came up here and tested, sat on the pole, said he wanted to add a Dover trophy to his trophy case. Mission accomplished. And about everybody a few donuts while I'm at it. And how about Scott Riggs, his third, second place finish this year. Riggs is on a roll. Smoking the hides. Not a lot of room on this front stretch with nine degrees of banking. You gotta be pretty careful doing what you're doing here. I like that though, that's he is just walking the dog. That's what he's doing. And I'm not talking about Mongo either. Hello. Black marks down there. And Scott hey. Riggs will move into second in the point standings. Just 76 a, points off of Todd Bodine. Great job by him today. I, I'm, I'm so happy for him. And David Green as well. Great recovery from uh, last week. David would be smoking the points right now if it hadn't been for the trouble he had last week. The okay. lead lap cars. Dave check Riggs, Green, Kenseth for fourth, Vickers for fifth, Hamilton, Bodine, Kane, Blue.
Bliss and Hornaday. And you mentioned Bodine, Ty Bodine, Mike, and that 92 car. Boy, his day was looking pretty bleak about the halfway point of this race, and he's doing what you have to do to win a championship, and that turn a bad day into a good day. Casey Kane came from her, you know, lap down there, not too many laps from the end, and uh, comes back with a good top 10 as well. And Mike Bliss slips in there again today, ninth place. Steve Burns. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.